In this video, I'm going to show you how you can have this beautiful photo gallery wall by using thrift store and found for free frames and Debbie's DIY paint. It's super easy. You ready? Let's get started. So lay the newspapers out and just trace around the outside of them, then cut all your templates out. This way you know how many of each you have and then you just hang them on the wall to get a visual of how it's going to look. Uh, this is just really simple. I also kept a separate count of how many of each size frame I had. Just made it easier when ordering pictures online or looking at matting. By the way, this is a reenactment because I forgot to do the actual video when I was doing the project. So what you do is after you've traced all the frames, cut them out onto newspaper and then just tape them on your wall. As I've done where you want your photo gallery to go and you just want to play around with that. As you can kind of see, I've just put tape on it, put it around. And this way you get to live with it for a little while of how you think the sizing and the shapes will flow. This is Command Central. What I've done is I've just used little Dixie cups to prop up all of my frames and I've got everything from big to small using about four different DIY paint. It's really easy. I love how it sticks to this little thin pieces of metal. Some of the frames are plastic. Um, so anyhow, we're going to move on with the painting and next. So for this set, I am using Debbie's DIY and Carnival Red. It is like a really fun, true red. I'm just going to use what's on the lid and I'm going to paint. This is just a regular metal found for free frame. And you can see that's just the teeniest bit of paint and it's going to be enough to cover it. And I may not even have to do two coats. Uh, so this project's going to go really fast. And it's really every single color that I have used has gone on just really nice coverage. Smoothly sticks to the metal really well. So you can see the mess I'm making. And I'm going to finish the rest of these. We'll move on to the next section. Propping up the frames on Dixie Cups allows you to get all sides of it. Then it's a great place to just set them to dry while you're waiting to use them. Now that I had all my pictures the way I wanted them, even though I had the template on the wall, I found it helpful to lay them out on my living room floor just to get a look at see kind of where I might want to move things around and what colors go with what. Finally, I have all the pictures on the wall. Having the newspaper templates gave me a good place to work from. I didn't use them exactly as I had laid them, but it definitely helped me to visualize what pictures would go where. I used a combination of small nails and for the little teeny metal frames I used command hooks and some wall putty. Everything is secure on the wall and I couldn't be happier. For more dumpster dive makeovers be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out redointeriors.com for more information on how you can make over your old junk easily.